We begin Unit 14 with graphing rational parent functions. Today we're just going to look at graphing a basic parent function. Let's look at our key points. The key points in the parent rational function are negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 1. So the first thing we're going to do when we graph these is to find HK. When we find HK, let's draw or cross through HK. We're going to use key points to find new points and graph. In the parent function, H is 0 and K is also 0. So let's plot that point and let's draw a cross through that point. Now let's plot our points from 0, 0, the HK, we're going to graph out to the left one and down one and we're going to plot it to the right one and up one. These points are going to get very close to the red lines but they will never cross. This is what the parent function looks like. These red lines actually are asymptotes. Remember asymptotes are boundary lines. So the vertical line is at x equals 0 and the horizontal line is at y equals 0. So x equals 0 is our vertical asymptote and our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. The domain of the parent function is all real numbers except where x is equal to 0 because there are no x values that touch the line at x equals 0. The range is all real numbers but y is not equal to 0. Again that is because this graph does not touch the line at y equals 0. And that's the parent rational function. Now let's look at the graph h of x equals negative 1 over x plus 3. Remember the first thing I asked you to find is hk. And remember h is always opposite of what's inside with x. h is 0 and k is 3. So let's plot hk and draw or cross through that point. This is our new starting point. Now remember the old key points are negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 1. Let's figure out what's happening in this graph to x and y. Now remember to find the changes in x, we look at what's being multiplied to x. And there's nothing out front being multiplied to x except a 1. So x values do not change. Now let's look and talk about the y values. Remember the y values are on the outside of the function. So that's either going to be negative a over x or negative a over x. Since this negative sign is to the side, it's not included underneath the division symbol. This is with the y. So we're going to multiply all the y values by a negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 and negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So essentially when you multiply by negative all the signs change. Now this is what we're graphing. So starting at the blue dot I'm going to go to the left one unit and up one unit and I'm going to go to the right one unit and down one unit. This is a reflection over the x-axis. So this graph does move to this direction and I'm going to graph it. And what was on this side is now flipping down here. Now the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. The vertical asymptote is at x equals 0 again. And the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 3. The domain is all real numbers, but x is not equal to 0. And the range is all real numbers, but y is not equal to 3. Number 3. Start by finding hk. 
Now the O points are negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 1. What's happening to get the new points? I'm not multiplying anything to X, so that's still a 1. I'm not multiplying anything to Y either. The directional points do not change. So I'm going to go out negative 1, down negative 1, out 1, up 1, and draw the graph. The vertical asymptote is at X equals negative 2, and the horizontal asymptote is at Y equals negative 3. The domain is all real numbers, but X is not equal to negative 2. The range is all real numbers, but Y is not equal to negative 3. On number 4, find HK first, and H is negative 2, K is negative 3. The key points to the parent function are negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 1. What's happening to change our new function? Notice that there is a negative underneath the division symbol, so we are multiplying the x by a negative, and 2 is being multiplied to y. So all the x's will change signs, and the y values will be multiplied by 2. These are the new direction points. I'm going to go to the right one unit, down 2, and to the left one unit, and up 2. Now we just draw our line close to the asymptote, but not touching or crossing, in both directions. The vertical asymptote is at x equals negative 2. The horizontal asymptote is at y equals negative 3. So that means the domain is all real numbers, but x is not equal to negative 2. And the range is all real numbers, but y is not equal to negative 3. Now we're going to write the equation for each of the following. Start with f of x equals 1 over x. If we shift 3 units to the right, this is 1 over x minus 3. Remember, we always use negative h. 5 units down is 1 over x minus 5. Reflect across the x-axis is negative 1 over x. Let's put that together. f of x is equal to negative 1 over x minus 3 minus 5. Let's look at number 6. Vertically shrink by a factor of 0.5. So this is 0 0.5 over x. Shift up 2 is 1 over x plus 2. So let's put this together to get 0 0.5 over x plus 2. Now remember we're writing an equation So I have to have f of x equals. Start with f of x equals 1 over x. Shift left 6. Remember this is going to be the opposite of h. And down 1. Let's put this together. f of x equals 1 over x plus 6 minus 1. Number 8. Start with f of x equals 1 over x. Shift right 3. Remember, we're we'll doing negative h, and up 4. Now let's put this together. On number 9 and 10, these are really easy for these particular problems. I'm not worried about any stretches or shrinks or anything right now. All I need is just the basic equation. To do this, we connect our asymptotes. And remember that h is going to be negative. So the point where they cross is hk. So this point is out 3, up 4. So I want negative 3 in my formula. And that one's done. I'm going to do the same thing on number 10. Draw my asymptotes. Where they connect is the hk. In this problem, h is negative 7 up 3. And remember, in the formula, we're going to use the opposite of h, so this is going to be plus 7. And we are done.